So on the first solve, I got a 749, which unfortunately was a plus 2, so it was a 949. Uh, my cube shape was 321 and the line, and I traced even, so pretty much I'll just turn it into 42 pair and solve scallop scallop in the back like this. Next, I have a 3 slice CO, then 3 3 for EO. And here I have a number of, I guess, decent options. Uh, one option is to pretty much uh, misalign this shape room. And if I do JN from here, I'll get JJ again. Uh, I could also try uh, misaligning, uh, misaligning the G perm like this. And if I do kind of a JJ with a bar flip, I'll get just a Z perm, which is also pretty cool. Um, let's see if I can. Except I, what I ended up doing was JJ into a U perm, which I guess isn't the best, most slice efficient solution, but it ended up working pretty well until I locked up and didn't do the last turn. So I, yeah, it was a 749. Um, assuming that it wasn't a plus two, it would have been like 27 slices with 3.6 SPS, but without it, it was, I don't know. I, I, I don't really know what to consider the SPS of the solve to be, like, do I count it as a 749 or 949? I don't really know, but regardless, it was the worst solve. I don't really care. The next solve was a 704 with scallop fist as my cube shape. First of all, I um, held orange at front and I traced even. So to solve even, I'm gonna first of all move this pair kind of to the side and I'll just solve scallop kite like this. Next I have this one slice CO, which I'll just solve like that. Next I have I and L for EO. And here, um, first of all, I'm gonna do a D2. Um, and so Pretty much, this G perm, I'm gonna get either an H perm if I misalign it or a U perm if I leave it aligned. And I prefer the U perm, especially because with this V perm up here, if I misalign that and if I do JN, I'll get the good U perms. So that's what I did. That was 22 slices and 3.13 SPS. So uh, pretty efficient and pretty good solve. The third solve was a 573, uh, which honestly wasn't the best solve in the world. Uh, so first of all, I had Pawn Fist here, and I traced Odd, so odd, the way odd, odd, the Odd Dog would work is pretty much I bring up this L and attach it to the Pawn, and move this pair over like this, and solve Pawn Pawn like this. Next I just have this 2 slice CO, which ended up giving me an EO, an EO skip, <laughs> sorry, and just JJ for CO and to Add Judge. So it was a very easy self-explanatory solve, 16 slices and like 2.79 SPS. Not the best in the world, but it was a good time. My fourth solve was a 6.57. And this was my cube shape, it was fist and shield. And I traced odd, so pretty much I'm gonna take this kind of line from the fist and attach it to the shield, and then just turn it into pawn pawn, like so. Next I have this three slice CO, which I'll just sell like this. Next three three for EO. And this is a case that I could have solved with two CPs. Uh, I ended up not doing that. I think the solution I did was still pretty good, but so what I could have done um, I'll misalign it like this, and do uh, JJ, and I'll get JJ again. Um, sorry, there we go. What I ended up doing instead, um, I left the Y perm aligned, and with this T perm, if I misalign it and do JN, I'll get the good U perms. And so I did that, and this was pretty conveniently aligned, so all I had to do was the good U perms with the bar flip, uh, readjust, and solve, and finish the solve. 
And so that was a pretty nice solve. It was 25 slices and uh, 3.81 SPS. So really not complaining about the solve. I think it really couldn't have gotten much better. So yeah. So the last scramble was um, pair and 321, and I got a 687 on it, which was pretty efficient, but it, I mean, sort of, it was sort of efficient, but it didn't really have the best turning. And so first of all, I had pair and 321 as my cube shape, as I said, I think, uh, and I traced even. So pretty much I'm going to isolate this pawn from this L, if that makes sense, so you can see that. And pretty much if I put the pair with this L, I'll get pawn fist. Next, I have a two-slice CO, which could have been a two-slice OBL if I pretty much did a D2 here, and then a UD2 and slice and solve it like that. Um, but instead, what I ended up doing, I misaligned the top here, and so I ended up with this, which I had to do an extra few slices for. Here I paused quite a bit. Um, first of all, like I did a U2, and so this is a two-slice PBL, which is actually really, really nice. Usually, um, out of just bad habits, um, I would always do JJ and get bad U perms, which is terrible, especially compared to what you can do, which is simply NN and then 2J perms, which is so much faster. Um, so I did pause a little bit there, but luckily I did um, end up going with that solution. So otherwise, I feel like it should have, it would have been something like a high seven if I did the JJ into the bad U perms. So although the turning wasn't great, it was like 18 slices and 2.62 SPS. I ended up going with um, the better solution for PBL, and that ended up giving me the sub-7 um, that I needed for the sub-7 average, which I'm quite happy with. Um, this average wasn't the best in the world in terms of turning, but you know there were some nice PBLs here and there, pretty good solutions. So that really made up for that. And I got a 683 average, so yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I really enjoyed making this series. I hope to keep this up for hopefully a few more weeks. Once again, as I always say, just give any feedback you have in the comments below. Uh, I'm trying to make this series as good as I can for you guys. Uh, other than that, I think that's a lot to say. So thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.